Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now are Derek, Jermaine, and Richard here to talk with us about the second annual Fighting Scots Foundation Liftathon at Crunch Topeka. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good morning. I'm excited to talk about this event again. Yeah. Um, how how did the first year go for you guys? Uh, the first year it went well. Um, we had about. 70 80 percent participation with the the players wonderful uh, and um the event went really well all right so uh, yeah well enough you guys are doing your second one this year um like uh, tell me about the players now are some of them that did it last year are they coming back again are they trying to beat whatever record that they had last year yeah so after the event we came up with some shirts to put the the players who made our thousand pound club it's, uh, it's related to this uh, event but also we have a thousand pound club a uh, wall at our school and they want to get their names on it so that would get that gets the guys in the door. Okay. Well, so what what is what's the thousand pound club? All right. So in all four categories that we lift, um, the players who can reach a thousand pounds total of the the, the max weight that they can uh, lift, um, we'll add them all up. If they get over a thousand pounds, okay. they get their name on a wall and it'll be up there forever. Okay. They're not lifting a thousand pounds no, no, at one no, no, time. No, 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 like no, man, no. there's some impressive no, no. players so, out yeah, there. It's bench, squat, deadlift, and power clean. Okay. Awesome. Uh, this is very exciting. And now yes. I want. I uh, heard there's a story about how this all came together is that right yeah so um was it three years ago my son was a senior and he wanted to play football first time you know, and all that good stuff go to the coaches meeting and parents meeting and i'm listening to coach talk and he was really uplifting sold me on the the program that he's got going that i went to him said coach you need any help you know i'd like to you know jump in thinking you know maybe help with a fundraiser or mm -hmm. something i don't know maybe less than a week later he's like Hey, you still want to do that? Like, yeah. He goes, okay. Well, here's what I need you to do. Uh, start getting team meals together, sack lunches. We're going to do this, this, and this. And I'm like, what? But I got surrounded by some really, really, really great people. Um, and then he said Derek was coming on board with this. And um, so we're like the founders of the Fighting Scots Foundation. Then I do got to give a shout out to our, our, I call her our piece of the puzzle that we didn't know we was missing. And that's yep. Nikki Richardson. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. I mean, she, she keeps she's us, the glue. She keeps it all yeah, together. She keeps us yeah. together and organized right. and, and brings something up. Well, let me look and see if we could do that, you know, type of thing. If you ask for something, awesome. or if you're pondering ideas, she gets it done. So yeah. you got to be us. Uh, That's one of them. Yeah, you always need someone like that right. on the team. Someone <laughs> yes. that the, the, the doer, just the knows yeah. what they're doing. You have the dreamers, you have the doers. It, right. It's a great combination. It uh, and remind us now, the Fighting Scots, what you guys are all about, what people are raising money for for this Lift of Thought. So this is more of a um, kind of a community-based mm -hmm. deal. So aside from school, aside from you know the USD 501, this is just uh, parents and community members that have uh, noticed that the football team needs some help, and so we're trying to jump in and do what we can and help. And the you know, liftathon is a great way to earn some of that extra funding that takes for team meals and stuff that uh, the normal budget doesn't mm -hmm. allow for. That's wonderful, yeah. Like, uh, we forget just how how much some of this stuff can be, and it's great to, you, know, you said team meals, yeah. The players gotta eat. Right, <laughs> absolutely. They, right. they need the fuel to go out there and dominate. Yeah. And they can eat. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, how can people donate now? What, what do they need to do? So they can um, donate either um, per players. We got some of the Football team players are out there um, asking for um, pledges, mm -hmm. and you can pledge two different ways. You can do a flat rate pledge, or like say, I just get, I'll give you 50 bucks, 100 bucks, or you can do per pound. Mm -hmm. um, like let's say a business wants to do 10 cents per pound, so whatever that player's done, take that 10, 10 cents, times it by the pounds that they lifted through the whole thing, and then that's what they pledge. Ooh, so, okay. yeah. yeah. Or a business can also do. A percentage for the whole team. Mm, so, yeah. Okay. So a lot of different options there. And so for like the pound, you know, donate per pound. You know, what, what kind of, how much pound are we talking about? You've, you mentioned already a thousand. Where you could get up to. Yeah. So for example, we have a one player that he lifted um, almost fifteen hundred pounds, wow. and he um, bench pressed this alone. Mm -hmm. Bench press, he lifted over uh, three hundred pounds in just that one category. That and is amazing. And then we amazing. have three other categories we can mm -hmm. add those pounds to. That's great, yeah. Uh, so uh, tell us about the event itself now. Like, what time is it? Can people come and, and watch this happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it is open to the community. Um, it's at uh, Crunch Fit Fitness Topeka. Um, the event starts at 10 o'clock. Um, the doors open at 9, For at least for the, the players. Mm -hmm. And then the com community members can come out. Last year was a 
pretty strong uh, uh, event uh, showing um, people from the community, but then also the players and their parents were able to um, um, watch the participants. Wonderful. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. I, yeah. I mean, to, to cheer on, to, yeah, to see somebody go like 300 pounds, right, I'm like, right. you can do it, yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. The environment Definitely is a lot awesome. of screaming going on. Yes, oh, for sure. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to be a great time. And it's for a great cause to get the, the team you know, ready to go for this school year. How excited are they for the new school year to start? They're ready. They're yeah. ready to get back into routine. Uh, I, 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 try, I stay in contact with them throughout the summer, and then there's a, there's a break period where we can't have any contact, but I'm still messaging them, and today's our first day. We had our freshmen in, and then uh, tomorrow the whole school will be there. We'll be back into routine. I'm, I'm ready to see my guys. All right, exciting. Okay, I would like to give a shout-out to Crunch Fitness. The Tacey Williams, I mm -hmm. believe she's the general manager, um, second year that they jumped on board with this, and um, been a great partnership, great collaboration with them. Wonderful. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a exciting time for you guys, and I can't wait. Hopefully, you know, this is just the second year of many more to come for the Lift-A-Thon as people start breaking records over the next few years. Yes, yes. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. It's been such a pleasure chatting with you all. And everyone, to learn more, you can also visit uh, this Scott's Foundation on Facebook.